Okay, I am back, starting off the game. Uh, just as warning though, the FMVs don't really show up with fraps. I'm still not sure what the issue is with that, but I'm still trying to work on it. But for the time being, editing magic basically. So you'll still be able to still see the FMVs. I won't. So. Maybe I can see him. Well, who cares? Editing magic. <laughs> okay. Now, one issue is that I didn't actually get to see the... Uh, the intro to the game because... because of the whole mess up thing. And yeah, what I did just there was a quick little shortcut. I knew it since the original PlayStation version, one of the demo discs was actually in this stage. And I honestly didn't know that the proper way to actually get up here was to go through the water that you can see back there. Back here there's like a little climbable wall that climbs up here. And then he jumped. So I didn't know that. So it took me like an hour and a half to realize that you could actually jump up there. But of course, wrong way to do it. But at least it doesn't trigger off the tiger, which is supposed to show up. This is a really good song. I like it. I think there might be another way. Yeah. I wonder if you can actually get up into the wall itself going over here, but I don't... I don't really want to test that out. Thankfully, there really aren't that many item pickups. Because if you recall, when I started Tomb Raider 1, there was a bunch of shit that you could pick up. Like health packs and all that crap. 
this one they seem very scarce. At least in the beginning. I don't know I don't remember about later. So this first section should be a breeze. I probably didn't have to do that. And then take a look at the first enemy. I think they're supposed to be hawks. There should be another. At least two more. Invincible over there? Because that'd be pretty cheap. Now, the first thing I need to do is actually uh, find a key. Which is really not difficult to find. And then we deal with the second newest enemy. Fucking tigers using stock audio. I like stock audio tigers. They're creepy. That's my new little theme when I do something good. Do do do. Oh, that's not good though. I don't like spiders. Jumping spiders. You know, the first time that I actually came across this game and I heard that there were spiders in it. Oh shit. My arachnophobia just kind of kicked in. Going, nope. Not gonna play that game. But thankfully, they're not that bad looking. Not as bad as the ones off of uh, Skyrim. Those ones creep me the fuck out. Especially the ones that they showed for the... Like, before the game release. They had, uh, screenshots and shit. The spiders in that were fucking gigantic. And they had... S saliva just... Dripping off of their fucking teeth. That shit was creepy. It made me not want to touch the fucking game. Thankfully, it wasn't that bad. Oh, shit. Another good addition to this game is that... You don't actually have to let go... ...of the fire button... ...when you want to... ...attack the next enemy... ...after the previous one died. Because in Tomb Raider 1, you actually had to do that. Or else you'd just be keep shooting the same dead body that just sits there. And is probably wondering why the hell you're overkilling it. But yeah. It's kind of nice. But I'm still kind of used to letting go of the button.
as you can tell, we're getting to the part filled up with a bunch of traps. So I will go ahead and say, ah, save. There we go. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. Oh wait, I forgot about that. <laughs> But of course, this is no bueno. Fight trap. It's a new trap that they introduced. Even though the spikes are a little bit more delayed than the wall itself. Still. Oh shit. Fuck you. Now, I remember that there's a way to actually get past these without getting hurt. I don't remember if it involved crawling against the wall or something similar to that. I think this is the game with a bunch of these things, I don't remember. There's a bunch of spiders up here. I'm gonna try and get past them. There we go. Diggers. You, tiger. I'm not gonna deal with your shit. Because I am a man. That was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> With a tommy gun on my keyring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got a monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then. The dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well, Don't and make which one is that? that? To the sins and fortunes it's probably full of, of poison. Marco Bartoli. <laughs> oh. Called it. <sighs> Perhaps not just yet, then. I mean, you could easily tell that was fucking poison. Jesus Christ. Why did she let him just go through with it? Uh -huh. She's fucking Gianni Bartelli. heartless. Via Caravelli, Venice. Lara. The heartless bitch. Well, anyways. I think this video is actually going to be a two-parter. So I'll be right back. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah. The stage can be a little bit lengthy, but not, not too difficult. As long as you know what you're doing, it's really, really simple. I thought there was supposed to be another dog. I know there's a dude up there. I think it was in the... second PlayStation demo disc, there was a second Doberman. Oh, there it is. But I thought it was supposed to come out a lot earlier. I was wrong.
Oh, I recently purchased some, a, uh, er, some, uh -huh. a single <laughs> lapel microphone. So hopefully that'll improve a little bit on my Let's Plays, or at least some of the sound quality. I know it's already kind of decent, though, but I need something that does not have audio lag for me. Time to do a good old-fashioned beanie. Wrong order. Oh well. Shit happens. You still go over here and get this. I'm supposed to drop a key. That for some reason likes to spawn uh -huh. near the edge. Which does it? Yeah. I can go ahead and open this, I guess. Shit. Somehow, they can shoot at you through walls. Or at least through flooring, not walls. Oh, he's the one that drops the magnums. Okay, I was wondering. Because uh, I remember finding magnum ammo on my first paper. And I couldn't find the magnums. Oh, shit. Here I am trying to make this a little bit faster. Yeah, that's another move that she learned. Climbing walls and jumping backwards. Oh shit, wrong button. Ah, I gotta get used to that. Because in Tomb Raider 1, I had the inventory set up as my PlayStation Select button. But now, because of the added flares, I keep pushing that. Hopefully this flare won't run out. While I do this. Can you jump on from the back? Nope. Of course not. Oh, shh. What did I forget? Did I go derp? I think I went derp. Ah, I feel stupid. Switch, didn't I? 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I <sighs> fucking retarded. Jump. You know, when I play through this, or at least when I jump on those little, uh, God, I don't know what the fuck they're called. I'll just call them tapestries because in a way, they are. But every time I play this part, I always question how much does she weigh? Because if she weighs too much, then she would have fallen right through those fucking red things. This spot right here is a... Oh god, what's it called? A water lock? Is that what it is? I, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's basically a thing that's used to raise the water level so boats and shit can pass by. I think it is called a lock. Some item collection. Not a lot, but some. Gosh. Uh -huh. Useful items. Yeah, I think this is it. There's a guy that appears as soon as you step over here. Ooh, shit. Glad I caught that in time. Items. And I think you might have some. Or not. God, that's depressing. Here. 
Come on, jump. Don't be afraid. There you go. things I could do. I don't like this spot. It's way too fucking glitchy for me. Oh my fucking god, action! Uh... How cool is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not a good spot to get stuck at. Oh, come on! Don't go backwards! Go forwards! I gotta kill this guy. In the floor. <laughs> okay. I kind of know what I'm doing. I swear. Oh, wait, no. Not yet. Too early. This is where we want to go. Your roll. And then we go over here. face. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Take care of these dudes. A lot better at managing my health. Hell of a lot better. So now there's a couple keyholes that we've seen. Uh -huh. Shit. Um. Steel key. Nope. Oh, she didn't say it. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh. Boop. 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 Yes. Yes. That's what we wanted. Uh, basically in the stage where those bombs blew up that were in the water that blew up the boat. That big door is where we're headed. Uh -huh. 
and there's a switch that opens that door. Only problem is that it's timed. So we need those steel gates open to give us a chance to actually getting to that door in time. Shit. I was hoping I would fall right in that boat. First, I gotta actually make sure that it opened up both gates. Fuck! Okay, that's not good. So that means I'm missing a key. Unless... Don't stop now. Back country. Open, 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 open. You didn't open. Uh, maybe there is a switch in the water. Uh, fuck. Okay. No switch. I could do this. It's not gonna do any good. Maybe this will open. Ah. I like guessing correctly. I expected a key. I didn't get one. Okay, what do you do? Hey, it's that one door with the magically appearing dude that I didn't kill yet. Great. Now where was that? No, nope, that is the right way. I will do this. Take care of this thing. Uh -huh. And then I'll check my... Uh, yeah, I might as well. Not good. Huh. No traps. Uh -huh. Still no traps. Boop. Oh, hey, guy. Fuck! Dude keeps bashing my head in. Uh -huh. Christ. I'm surprised she didn't turn into a fucking herp derp. With all that shit. Oh, what did this do? Okay, so the guy is now below me. What the hell? That's what I want to know. How the hell? 
did he do that? Fuck you! Give me your stuff. Oh wait, that's right, he didn't have anything. Fuck. Okay. Second keyhole. Don't remember where that was. Pretty sure I'm going the long way around that one. That does damage? Shit. Fuck, that's not it. I gotta find the area that I died at. So it's gotta be this way. You know what? I'm going to save. Because I don't know what's ahead. Ow. There we go. And now we can finish the stage. Which took me forever to realize the first time I actually played it. Right now we're in, I think in middle school? No, high school. Middle school. I don't remember. Oh, shortcut. Oh, the shortcut's weird. I don't remember this. Okay. I think I get it. So basically... Jump the thing. Use that gate. Go that way. I'm trying to <laughs> get this going in my head. I go this way. All right? This way. Ah! And that should be the giant fucking door. Yes. Okay. Oops. So it should be pretty much a straight shot. Because the gates are off to the left after the ramp. And I go through that, and I should just have to take a right. And that'll be it. 
Okay. So ready. Oh, forgot about this dude. Hey, got it. Give me your shit. I gotta get back in my boat. Line it up. No, not... Terrible driver. Okay. I am ready. I'm gonna do this just to make sure that I can see. done. <sighs> so, part three. Still in Venice, I would assume. Trying to find what's-his-face. Bartoli? Bertoli? Or maybe I'm thinking of the noodle. Or the brand of noodles or whatever. I don't know. It's fucking Italian. That's all I know. So we'll be back in a little bit. For the next video.